G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography and what I want to share with you today, I want to talk about and even demonstrate or show you the biggest improvement, the biggest light bulb moment I had in my landscape photography career and I'm sure this knowledge will also give your photography a tremendous boost. Now I remember several years ago I was always wanting my images to look like the photographers that I aspired to, you know that beautiful explosion of light and vibrance and energy that those gorgeous photos seem to have you know that you know that look that real beautiful glossy look I always wanted my images to look like that but then I would look at the images on the back of my camera and the ones I imported onto my computer and they just didn't have that same look that same feel that explosion of light and here the biggest discovery I ever made in my landscape photography career was that modern digital cameras aren't designed, they're just not designed to capture those breathtaking moments in camera, finished in camera, they're not designed to do that, okay, because modern digital cameras are designed to capture the maximum amount of information possible about that scene in front of us. Have you heard the term dynamic range and the fact that modern digital cameras can capture, I don't know, 15, 16 stops of dynamic range. This is four or five times more dynamic range or more information than what the old film cameras could capture. And what this means is modern cameras are now compressing the tonal range, compressing it down to allow them to capture more dynamic range. And dynamic range just means more brighter to darker pixels, a wider range between light and dark they can now capture. But by doing that, they can press the photo down and reduce the contrast. And what happens when you do that is the photo becomes rather dull, rather lifeless and lacks contrast. And so what I was doing, I was looking at my modern photos captured on my digital camera that are designed to capture rather dull, lifeless files with lots of information, mind you, and comparing those to the images of my favorite photographers and I was thinking I need to change some things here these do not look like those so what I was doing I would search for better light I would search for better conditions I would change my settings around on the camera and change lenses and change gear try different cameras this that and the other nothing was really working consistently and that's when I discovered that information that it was the camera more so than my skill because my raw files were already pretty much good enough. What I didn't have, I needed a Photoshop workflow to really, I suppose, take those raw files and give them that boost of life and contrast and vibrance that they deserved. Take a look at some of my raw files here, okay? And this is a bit of a light bulb moment. Take a look at my raw files. Here's one here. I think you'll agree, you know, pretty ordinary. Let's take a look at a whole bunch here. There's another one. There's another one. That one's a bit better. There's another one, beautiful sunset, but not much going on there. There's another one there. That one's a bit of a disaster, I think you'll agree. And here's one more here, okay? Now, those raw files, although they're a bit flat, bit dull, bit lifeless, they don't really have that glossy explosion that I really wanted, check out what a simple Photoshop workflow can do, okay? So here's the before, look at that, before, after. You'd swear it wasn't the same image, but it absolutely is. All that information is in there. We just have to tease it out with Photoshop and all of a sudden we have that beautiful, vibrant, exciting explosion of light that we're looking for. Let's take a look at the other ones. Here we go here. Just quickly run through. Before, after. Look at that. Huge difference. This one's a little bit better. Actually, this one won a major international landscape photography competition a few years back. We didn't have to do too much. Look at this. Before, a little bit flat and dull. After, just exploding. If we zoom in there, look at this central region. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, a couple more. As I said, this sunset doesn't look or feel as vibrant and as exciting as the breathtaking moment when I was standing there. That does, however, that's how it felt, that's how it looked, okay? The cameras are designed to capture images like this and it's up to us to tease them into the images we desire like that. A couple more here, a bit flat and lifeless. Look at the mood and emotion that we now have in this stormy image, okay? Before, after. 
As I said, this one's a bit of a disaster. You would delete this straight off the back of the camera. I almost did, but check this out. I was standing there. I thought this was an incredible moment when I was standing there. I could see all the detail with my eyes. The camera has captured it. It just hasn't done a good job of, you know, really conveying the emotion and the mood and the light that was there. Look at this. I could see all that when I was there. My eyes could see it. The camera was capturing it like this. Photoshop, we can bring it out exactly like this. One more. Okay, there's the scene there. Absolutely gorgeous. Before, after, just like that. Now you will say, oh, the light rays weren't really there. And you'd be right, they're not. Look, I'm not fussed about reality. You can take your photos and make them as real as you like or as fake and fantasy as you like. It doesn't matter. Photoshop is designed to, for the photographer to do whatever they like, whatever they choose. Okay, so you can see how a simple Photoshop workflow can transform those ordinary images that our camera is designed to take and transform them into something absolutely extraordinary like that. Okay, here's a great example, this one here, isn't it? Ordinary, absolutely ordinary. And I think you'll agree, something gorgeous, approaching extraordinary maybe. I don't want to call it extraordinary, that might be going too far. But anyway, what I've got for you here, I've got a free Photoshop course, Introduction to Photoshop, which will get you comfortable, get you on the right track to being able to transform your own raw files that may not be up to their full potential and take them all the way to their full potential, just like this here. Have a look in the comments, you'll find a link there. Click on that link free trial, sign up. There's about eight videos, nine videos in the trial that will step you through the very first parts of Photoshop and get you comfortable so that you can begin the journey to transforming your images just like this. Thanks again for watching along. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.